position distance in different dimension so what are we talking about we have the dimension notion of r0 r1 r2 r3 and so forth now when when we talk about r0 we're talking about actually point when we talk about r1 we're talking about the two point which of course makes line when you talk about r2 we are talking about cartesian plane if you put a vector on a cartesian plane you can find the distance of the vector and uh, when you talk about three dimensions we are talking about cartesian plane but you have a what is the distance over here zero what is the distance over here delta x what is the distance over here d is equal to delta x squared plus delta y squared what is the distance over here we can generalize this x squared plus y squared plus z squared of course now we're going to see the handsome version of this one we have um, the x component the y component and the z component so this is my x this is my y and this is oh, i can't write z too bad now this is uh, my vector so I have two stick to represent the vector. So let's this, use this as a vector. So vector has an arrow. So make sure I have the arrow at the end of the stick. All right. So now what are we going to do with this one? We're going to have to put a ruler. So because we have to find the length, that's all we've been talking about. So you can find that I have identical ruler, so that's not a big deal to find the length. We can find the length uh, in a uh, in a way that we uh, we talk about in the class uh, projection. So I'm going to show you how this will allow you to understand projection. So projection projection of x on v and projection of y on v is equal to so projection of x on v. So this we're going to call of course v. So projection of x and v is, let's see what is it. Um, so this is 15, so I got 15. Uh, and projection of So this is 16. Uh, so now, if I take the calculator, 22, it gives you exactly 22, uh, 21.9, but yeah, 22. So this one was 15, this is 16, so the uh, is 22. Now we can take the, another identical ruler to find how accurate it is. This is 21. Point eight. So this is 21.8. So we can find the error. So 20, uh, 20, um, this, this is 22 minus 21.8 divided by 22. One person error is acceptable. Now I'm going to show you the math version of this. So let's draw this three dimension on the board. So now I have X, I have y and let's put two vectors so i'm going to call r1 uh, and i'm going to call r2 so i want to find the distance between the length between distance between these two so i'm going to call it r3 r3 is r2 minus r1 so i'm going to go ahead and write down r3 and the all component of R3, which is Rx, Ry, and Rz. So 2x minus R1x, R2y minus R1y, R2z minus R1. Rx squared uh, plus Ry squared plus Rz squared. Now let's replace this right here. So what do we have over here? Uh, R2x minus R1x squared plus R2y minus R1y squared plus R2 
2z minus r 1z is square. Now r3 square is equal to what can we uh, rewrite it? x square plus y square plus z square. We can rewrite it as linear combination. So how can I'm gonna give you a few